setting up a unique selling proposition, the ultimate guide. So, what's a unique selling proposition, or USP, right? No one likes the word selling, but think of it as how to attract customers. Your communication needs to change rather than yelling how you have great stuff, you want to boldly say, we are all about such staff, we do things differently. For example, have a spool over a few examples of USPs that have succeeded to keep their brands locked in the mind of consumers, head and shoulders, you get rid of dandruff metropolitan life, get met, it pays BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Federal Express, when your package absolutely, positively has to get there overnight. Promotion only forms a tiny segment of marketing of course, promotion plays a crucial role in building your audience, no doubt about that, but promotion alone won't entirely structure for a poorly finished product or ordinary content. It's like say, applying lipstick on a pig, for example, to build a successful business or a high-traffic website begins with your approach. Trouble is, getting traffic isn't exactly what people perceive it to be. Marketers often confuse website traffic with promotion, but actually, it's a holistic marketing affair. Initially, it starts with your viewpoint. How do you perceive the world? Do you care to help your consumers? And it goes on like that to your products, service, customer relation, and then lastly to your promotion. To attract customers to your products needs working at every level of your industry, and the first stage should be your unique selling proposition. How do you find your unique selling proposition? Now that you already know unique selling proposition is essential to any business, how would you define yours? A USP can be a combination of different things, thus numerous different approaches can be applied. There's no precise answer to this while depending on what industry you're in, even the least amount of distinction could bring much superior shot at success. Here are a few simple ideas to get you started in knowing how to attract customers. What's your personality? If you can define that, then at times your personality alone could be a powerful tool to attract customers. Placing your personal stamp on various aspects of your industry you form something unique that no one can duplicate. Seek intersection of ideas, your industry's area of expertise can be the starting point, and then you add something in mix so as to make it interesting and unique. Narrow your target audience, you can opt to narrow your target audience. For example, you can specialize as web designer for plumbers or blog about dentists. Imagine if you were the dentist and you need assistance with online marketing, would you rather opt for an industry that focuses in dentistry or just online marketing in general? Don't try to please to everyone usually in creating a USP, there's that feeling that you'd lose out on some potential customers. To want to please everybody is a natural tendency, The ultimate objective of your USP is to connect more strongly with a certain audience, and less with others. Just by connecting strongly with a tiny audience, you widen your influence as well. Branding, design, and communication after a successful unique selling proposition development, the last task is to communicate it often and clearly the right name, tagline, and design should bond this whole idea of uniqueness together. Lastly, your selling proposition shouldn't be one-time decision. Your audience should always be reminded of what you stand for.